excited to find out where it's going to be. Who's going to get the win here? Let's get into the game. Let's head down to DFH. It's Leaf and Lawler waiting and standing by. Guys, take it away. Welcome down to DFH Stadium as we get underway with week number two. I'm Leaf X sitting here with the wonderful Lawler, the brisk drinker himself. <laughs> What's up, man? How's it going? How is everybody doing today? I know I'm excited for these matches, and I actually have to do, uh, disagree with the desk right off the bat. Atelier played both the top two teams that are out today, and they kept almost every game within one point. I think this is going to be much closer than people think. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to have to say, like, I think either way it's going to be close. But again, you're right. They had the toughest matches off the bat last week. And uh, I think they're sitting right now with the highest shooting percentage um, out of week one. We'll see if that can continue. They had a lot of games. I mean, compared to Genesis, they played a total of five more games. Um, last week, right. and coming to this one, no, that could change this week, but I mean, they have a little bit more of a warm-up now, and again, G2 brought that to a game five. I, they, they've already had a, a good run. Yeah, that shooting percentage pairs greatly with their goal scored. They're third right now, and they're behind G2 and Energy in that stat. So, other than the big two, like, they're sitting comfortably in third. Like, Matt popped off last week. If he can pull that again against a team that's basically been relying on insolences to drive everything, they've got a pretty good chance here. Well, we're going to find out as we get down into game number one of week two of the RLCS Season 3 League play. We have Genesis versus Atelier. We'll see now if the desk can be proven wrong. Turtle trying to start it off quick as Atelier again. We're pretty strong in the offense, but we did see Matt and Sizz sometimes getting a little cut up, and that could be a chance for the Genesis team to find some of those long clears as they actually tried to do right there. Classics and Chrome getting that team pinch to start things off properly. But we always have the feelers going out, especially in the third or the first match, sorry, of the week. Hopefully these guys are all warmed up and ready to go. Well, it's exactly like you stated. Usually a little bit slower in the first game, just trying to see how each team, team's pace is going to play out. But already you're seeing teams start to clump together, waiting for that kind of positioning play to come through. The back and forth as they all try to get those long shots. I see again, Classics and Chrome specifically trying to get some of those shots from midfield. Just trying to get that ball moving fast and keeping that pace off quick at the beginning. Hoping to catch Atelier off guard, but they do seem to be matching the pace fairly quickly here. As both defenders ready to clear that one out, Turtle can't get the follow up. And again, Classics with the Dominus touch forward. Insol tries to get that redirect. We saw Insol go off quite a bit in the last week. We'll see if we can do that again. Just a minute passed already in the game number one. Neither team scoring so far. No real team plays are connecting. Getting intercepted quickly. That could be the start of one, though. Matt couldn't get there quick enough. Sizz off the backboard. Chrome will connect back to midfield. We see a lot of hard clears coming up from Genesis that are giving them a a good amount of time to set up offense, but they aren't really setting up the offense. Right. It's exactly like you said in the aspect where there's a lot of times that the possession and the shots on net are there, but Genesis gets clumped back on defense, and that's where that accuracy starts to come into play as a shot goes in for Turtle. There it is, the first one. Turtle finally connecting with the back of the net. We've seen a lot of hard clear from Genesis, but no offense. It's been Atelier's turn to do that. Yeah, you saw Classics trying to clear that down to Chrome so he could play it upfield, just out in front of him a little bit too far. Turtle's able to get to it first and then puts a shot on net. Up by one, 312 left in this first match. Lots of time left. And again, with those hard clears, you might get one squeaking by a defense that's caught off guard. So far, Atelier is looking pretty strong on that front, though. Another shot from Turtle. We see some demos coming out early in this. We talked about North America last week being fairly aggressive in the physical play. That's the first one. Already in game number one, we'll see if that kind of stacks up or if the rest of the series will be a little lighter. An answer still looking to come out from Genesis as we hit that halfway mark at game number one in this best of five. Genesis, again, still looking to answer. This could be a chance here. Chrome puts it a little bit wide in the net. Sizz just tries to push it back to midfield. Classics caught in a weird spot, does get a side flip to it. And a block, but it's not enough to stop. Matt at Octane forcing itself through. Turtle trying to use his Octane to get his play set up for there. There's Sizz with a demo. That'll buy him a little more time on offense, but he gets caught off guard. Chrome seeks it past, but a self goal. Sizz, don't 
do this, not like this. That's something that comes down to not having trust in your teammates. Sizz is trying to rotate back and get a save on this as he's coming across. In reality, he should allow Matt to push up and make a save on that and then rotate back in the net. Well, I mean, a lot of times it's good to let that defender on their way back to defense take the flank shot, but you have to be aware of how that 50-50 is going to go. And he wasn't, and there it is all tied up as Genesis is able, well, Siz is able to tie this one up for Genesis. They still have a chance to bring back out two minutes left. No, exactly like it says. Still plenty of time. Can't let those mistakes get to you. As oh, Siz trying to get one, Siz with it. an answer back. No one home. And he just carries that one in. Hey, wasting no time. Like we said, you can't let those go to your head. And what does he do? Gets a beautiful pass out to mid and then just follows it in. Nobody in net at all. Wide open. Bye-bye defenders there. Siz, though. Making up for his mistake, we can forgive you on that one as they pull themselves back into the lead. Atelier pulling back only by one, though. We know how quickly this can answer, especially off kickoffs. That's the time to shift that momentum in your favor. Genesis down one again. Only one defender left. Matt can set this for Sizz. That could be in front of the oh. net. Turtle left it. He could have gone for the shot. But both teammates pushed up too far, opting to back off instead, resulting in still a lead, but no extra cushion for that lead. Yet again, Genesis out of the area. All three players pushed up. I understand that we talked about how Insul was the one kind of driving the charge. He was the one getting in the way and setting up for his teammates. But all three up on offense with a wide open net on back. Quick counterattacks are really going to spell trouble for Genesis if they keep this up. Really awkward, but Matt manages to push through, gets the 50-50 to Sizz. Can he get the angle? No, Turtle trying to get it past the last two defenders. Can't push that one through, and it will be a counterattack chance now for Genesis. But that gets broken apart pretty quickly as Atelier moves back down to the other end of the field. One minute left, and we do see a lot of chances now for Atelier, and it's looking scary a lot of times on defense for Genesis. <laughs> Chrome just... Poor Matt. Oh, poor <laughs> Matt getting chased down. Look at Chrome on this one. Chrome just, like, chasing him down. But that's beautiful. Like, he completely takes him out. Look, <laughs> look at that. There's nothing he can do on defense. Oh, and as a defender, you have no option but to get away from that guy creeping up on you. Yeah, he's, like, just trying to run away. Like, as soon as he slows down, he gets bumped anyway. But still, maintain possession by Classics and Insult. Really well played. Ooh, that's a rough spot, though, for Genesis. Turtle on target. We'll put this one down if he can get it past Chrome. Chrome does manage to keep control. Good mechanics from him. Classics, another chance to put that one away to the far end. He loses control. He'll be out of the play now as Chrome and Insole are last defenders left for Genesis. 30 seconds left. We are tied up. A couple of odd goals here. Either way, we're tied. One goal could oh, change it. Wow. And so Genesis now holding the lead against Atelier. Initially, there was a pass inside, and Classics missed the flick. But I like how he rotates back out. He goes and gets that top left boost and immediately passes back. Spreads out the field. Insul comes in and takes a shot that probably should have been saved, but it just they read that, sh that clear. He came in out of nowhere and just shut it down. 20 seconds left now for Atelier to bring this one back which could happen. They do have control here. Well, they lose it actually quickly. Midfield passing plays coming up from Genesis. All they have to do is kill some time now. Two on offense, one stay back. Insole gonna put another one in if he can put it on target. Tries to snipe that top corner off the bounce shot, but Turtle does get there in time. And unless this drops, they could still have another chance. That will be it. Genesis taking our first game in week number two for NA League play. Yeah, really well played, actually. Despite those couple mishaps here and there, I mean, you're talking, you look at the difference. I mean, if they get rid of those small mistakes, you know, we talk about with Sizz, uh, playing that back, just not really recognizing the 50-50 correctly. Mm -hmm. uh, that game could have went either way. But look at Genesis yet again. Insul, four shots, the only one on his team. Yeah, well, you talk about 50-50. 50-50s can be super critical when it comes to possession. You said 50-50 a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, 50-50-50. That's way too many percents. It, it, it can go either way. And uh, when you don't read them uh, properly, that just changes. Uh, you score on yourself sometimes. Well, there's, there's that last goal there by, uh, by Insul. We saw him last week just being a catalyst on that offense. He was just going in, and he's already doing it again. And that could be scary for Atelier. But, I mean, they did have a lot of scoring opportunities. Yeah. I mean, Turtle in front of the net one time, open net, just backed off instead. And that could have been a game decider. Yeah, you just kind of checked to a little bit closer. But you saw what can happen. Like, when Insole and them play that aggressive, it really opens up things. But they still need to be careful back on defense. Mm -hmm. There were That that whole goal happened because Insole literally just read the pass and he got to it before Turtle. Mm -hmm. If they keep that kind of regression open, it just allows Chrome and these other guys to really spread out and do what they want. But they still need to be careful with how hard they've been collapsing on yeah. offense. All three of them are pushed up really far. 
far, and all it takes is one counterattack, which is something that Atelier does very well. It's true, but I mean, uh, from what I've seen so far, again, between the Batmobile and the Dominus, they've been going for hard clears. Genesis has just been trying to clear it down, and that's what we saw. Insol get that shot from the midfield there. One of those long shots. Not a lot of passing plays on offense. I've seen them add around defense to midfield, but not when they're trying to score. Tele has been a little bit stronger on that front, but just not finishing them off. Hopefully we can stay away from some own goals as we come down to game number two. An awkward ball in front of the net there for Genesis. Matt trying to get a play started up for Turtle here. He does try to get that top corner, but he's going to be out now. Siz trying to set another one up. Turtle can get the boost on the far side. Some passing plays from Matt and Siz here. We know them to be a good duo. They can't get anything set up for Turtle. There's some pressure. Just keeping that ball in the corner, that's all they need to do, because that can set up a chance for Siz off the sideboard. Kept it slow and just kept passing to each other, and this is the result. Exactly like you said, as long as they keep it in the corner and continue that pressure, someone isn't going to be in that as the defensive rotation falls apart. But it was exactly that. They just kept up the pressure, they rotated cleanly, and it all started actually with Siz coming in through a demo. Like, he set it up, the rotations got kind of put off kilt, and then they just capitalized on it. Under a minute in already, Atelier holds the lead, but we did see this in the last game. Genesis eventually got the lead and then held it until the end, till that clock counted down, and they did walk away with a win in this best of five. Anything can turn around at this point as they do find themselves back on defense. Genesis starting to put some pressure on here. There's Insol with a chance to set up to Chrome. Chrome tries to find the angle. Off the wall, good read. I don't know if he has a teammate there to help him out. He'll try to put it in himself as the defense for Atelier manages to get it to the side at least. Now Turtle trying to get to the midfield. He does, but possession could have been a giveaway there. Matt bumped out of the way. Chrome just being a, a nuisance, man. I know, right? Look at him go. Like uh, He controls the ball three hits up on that corner, plays it across, seals the boost, and then gets two more contests. Like Last week, we didn't see too much of Chrome contesting, and I'm glad to see him getting involved today. Well, getting involved now as he throws that down the other end. Classics off the backboard. No follow-up from a teammate. Chrome leaving that for Insul. He got there a little bit late, but at least be able to keep it in front of the net. Rough spot for Turtle here. Chrome with the bounce shot. He's going to take advantage of, advantage of that, and we will tie it up. Yeah, Insul plays that up really high. Matt trying to come off the backboard. That flick, if he would have hit it with his nose, would have been a great clear. But because it hit the top of his card, it settles down in front of the net. And then it's entirely up to Chrome. Whether he wants to take a power shot or not, he goes for the bounce. Makes it even tougher to read. Oh, it's smart with the in. bounce. As you said, even that, he almost got the crossbar even rougher to read as a defender. Smart play from Chrome all around. Getting physical on the front. Gets some bumps and a goal now. And we have Atelier trying to get themselves the lead back. Three minutes left. Attack from Genesis being thwarted right here, but off oh, the what crossbar. A save. It is saved by Matt. He just keeps that one to the side. Literally just lets gravity do its work as he falls down to make that save. Ooh, this could be a play here. Matt is ready to connect with that pass from Siz off the backboard. Chrome keeping that one away. Super involved on the defense as well, not just the offense. Chrome all around. One of their stronger players in this series for Genesis. Classic's going to be out of the play, and that's going to be an open net for Siz to pull them back into the lead. Yeah, just like we said, these guys collapsed. You see Chrome being the only one. Classics tries to go for that aerial, oh, and he ends up side flipping, he's trying to go for a quick aerial so he can get up early to make that contest. Reality, in, in hindsight, probably should have just actually dribbled or uh, drove backwards a little bit more into his net, gave him some space, and then went up for the shot to make a contest that it's way. It's tough. He wanted that fast aerial, but realized he wasn't going to get it. Side flipped out of the play, but by then, it was no too late. one was in net. Siz with another setup here. All they have to do is hold the lead. Two minutes left. Lots of time for an attack from Genesis, unless they allow the ball to sit in front of their net like this. They're giving a lot of chances to Atelier. Yeah, they also need to be careful. Classics Chrome going for the same balls here. Drawing both those defenders out only make it easier for Atelier on this offensive side. It's a pass up to Insult. Infield passing to Classics. He's got a play start of the other eight. Good. Attempt at a counterattack. Chrome trying for the angle, the soft side touch on his wheels. That'll be a counterattack now for Atelier. Turtle has one defender to beat. Classics managing to get that block in the way. And now he tries to turn it around. Two good counterattacks, one from each team in a row here. I like to see a little bit more of that increase the pace of this game. I also like how Atelier is maintaining ball possession here. Two guys on them in the contest, so he just plays it backwards to his own defender and they clear it back in. Allows his entire team to pick up boost and resettle. It's really good decision making coming out. 
but Turtle yet again, that slow play is dangerous. So oh, we did it last week. We saw him in that five spot with that mind game last time. Unfortunately, defenders were a little bit too close to go on that one, and the, the trap and slowdown only works when your opponents are moving quick, which they weren't, and they were able to keep paced up, and they stopped that attack from Turtle. Now we have a, another one from Genesis. Insult coming in, there's gonna be a rough spot. Classics does manage to get a back pass to Chrome. But there is Matt Ansys moving up the field. Turtle boosted up as the third, if they can get a play started up. There he is, up in the air. Tries to pull on a target. Ooh, Sis is there no instead. Way. No he gets way. That on target, just off the crossbar. What a good correction from Turtle, though, realizing a second later that Sis was up for that shot. Well, not only did they both go up for it, like you said, but for him to boost on top of that and then just shadow him in the air to get another touch, if that was like just a little bit lighter, that would have been in. That would have been the craziest goal we've seen. Well, they're still on the attack, and they're still in the lead with 20 seconds left. They don't look like they're giving up at any point. We've seen Genesis stuck on the back end quite a bit here. Just a bit of a miss that almost extended the lead for Atelier by two goals with 14 seconds left. Genesis may be looking to give up a point here and tying up the series in this best of five. Unless that Genesis can get a play started right now. Classics trying. Puts it in the slot, but his teammates nowhere near. That will end up back down into the Genesis end, and if this touches, we go into a game number three all tied up in the series. Yep, just as you stated, trying to just end that one. But despite being up by one, they didn't really let off the pressure at the end either. They kept aggressing, just trying to make sure that they could kill the time on their side rather than their own. But stats across the table, very clean play coming out from Atelier in that match. Everybody getting involved. Turtle just trying to be that setup man, that support player that I know and love. Yeah, I mean, again, it, it looked on offense like a much stronger game for Atelier. Um, a couple moments where they... I mean, again, that, that one where Turtle was going up at the end there, Yeah. from his angle, I don't think he could see Sizz coming up, but the fact that he's able to correct himself, say, oh, there's Sizz, a split-second decision, and then move forward a little bit more to try to get the touch off of Sizz, um, that's the kind of stuff on offense that's scary for the defense of Genesis. And you saw it. They were stuck on defense quite often. I mean, a lot of the shots were going a little bit wide, but they were still stuck there. And it didn't look like the prettiest thing. But at the end, I did see a lot of really good counterattacks, not just clear the ball, right, but actual right. passing counterattacks coming up from both teams. And I think we might see the pace start to really amp up in yeah. the next few games. Well, Carpet mentioned it last week, too, while he was on the desk, about how this Atelier team has a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of those teams that they're not going to be the most flashy. They're not going to hit you with the craziest stuff. But as their as their chemistry starts mm -hmm. to build throughout the season, we obviously and have seen Matt and Sis play together before, and we know what they can do. But when you throw in Turtle, yeah. when he slows down that play, he carries the momentum, and then they maintain the pressure. It gets dangerous. It's just a matter of for Genesis, to, like they did in the first game. They need to apply that pressure and then find a way to maintain it because they have been allowing those counterattacks pretty heavily. Well, we'll find out right now. Again, Atelier looking a little bit stronger than Genesis at this point. Both teams a little bit weak, but see if those real counterattacks can help Genesis as they have been stuck in their own end and already back down there. Look at that attack. Matt and Sizz, the placement from Sizz. What a good shot. Just like you called it, the pressure you thought was going to get amped up, and here it is, one after another, everybody rotating in, covering. Ooh, Matt actually looked like he kind of almost stole that, but luckily for Sizz, it was already in. No, no, he was helping. He saw a defender <laughs> about to clear it. There's no goal stealing in uh, this level of Rocket League. You're just securing it. It's yeah, fine. You want the ball in the net no matter what. It doesn't even matter if your opponents score it. You take what you can get. And they just took it. First goal in already in the 20 seconds. Game number three, Atelier looking pretty strong already off the bat. You said it before, nothing flashy, but look at Sizz had just a nice placed shot. They're all really low on boost right now. Well, boost is just a crutch. We'll see if they can get it out, but they can't. Sizz last defender. Chrome trying to get the read off him, he doesn't, but what a clear from Sizz as he sends that one down to the end of the field. See Turtle has that third in quite often there, but a miss from him. Oh, Insole, no gonna way. That's going to be the other way. Insole has a chance to get that to Classics. He does to the far side, Classics. A drop in, tries to get it just in the corner, but a miss there, and that could turn around very badly for Genesis as they only have one defender left. Look at the bully from Classics, though, buying his teammates some time. I can't believe that. Like, Insole was able to play that over the last two defenders, and it was just a little bit wide. Fortunately for him, that touch wasn't enough. Chrome trying to get a pass out to Insole there with that pop off the ground in the corner. Can't, what a touch from Turtle though. That stops the attack from Classics. And now Sizz turns this one around quickly. Chrome with a miss, that's gonna be a shot. Oh, what a Classics. save by Classics. Clutch save as Matt doesn't put enough power on it. There's Matt though with another one. He's not happy, he wanted another shot. 
Natalia still only sits up by one. Genesis barely holding on to that goal line as the attack comes out from Atelier. It's not over yet though, three on one situation. Scary, Turtle doesn't win the 50-50 though. Somehow that Batmobile does stop it, even with the nose of the car. Now Chrome looking for that turnaround. Classic's trying to keep the momentum, but he misses. Now Turtle and Sizz have a chance to move up. Ooh, Turtle with a one on one situation. There's Matt to help him out, but doesn't get enough mustard on that, and that will be at the side. It's actually a really creative idea. Turtle doesn't have the ability to make that play as one was approaching. So he slows it down, bounces on his hood, and then tries to Ooh. tee it off. First. Oh, what a dunk by Matt! Matt does him dirty. Look at him, gets the first touch and just falls face first into this ball. It was actually a good save by Insul. He played it over and played it into the corner, but an awaiting match just comes in out of nowhere, hits it back inside, and then falls directly on it to dunk it in. It's raining, Matt. <laughs> Hallelujah, it's raining, Matt. <laughs> two and a half minutes left, and Atelier is now up by two. And, uh, oh, my goodness. Almost answered it back, though, is Genesis, as they're putting a quick attack on. They're not happy being down by this much. They've been holding off on defense for quite a while, but every time they're on offense, they seem to struggle a bit and holding it there. Atelier doing a very good job of getting these clears back down on the other end and maintaining oh. the pressure. Look at Siz and Matt going in right now. This Atelier team is playing with no fear. One after another, these guys are just running in and contesting, and it's paying off. This is something that this Genesis team could really abuse, but unless they're able to just get a touch on the ball, not saying that it's easy. Atelier is making it really difficult for him. Like, good luck. It's going to be rough for Chrome there. 50-50 going into the hands of Sizz. A move forward there by Atelier is stopped out by Insul. Chrome chasing Classics him down with again. a shot off the backboard. <laughs> a pass and hey, I mean, it worked last time. Why not try it again? It's just funny when it, like, it's like they're playing like ball tag. Like they're just chasing after each other. Seeing if they can, yeah. You're like, it. So oh. nobody wants to be it. Well, not that that's in any other time. I never like being it. Chasing people down is Chrome. But they need to chase that goal down if they're down by two goals. A minute 30 left. This is coming down to crunch time. So tell you, it doesn't look like they're giving up anytime soon. Turtle does steal that one in from Sizz. They keep trying to tee up off the Turtle. And I think he's trying to set them up now. He knows that they're coming in for those shots. What a passing play, but not enough power for Matt. But Insul loses control. That could be a chance for Turtle, but Classics. Good box out. Gets demoed in retaliation there. Chrome with the patience. Can he get the play? No. Loses control as Matt throws himself across. Still the right idea there from Insole and Chrome. Slowing it down, passing in the midfield. Right. Trying to just maintain possession. Obviously, it's not the best like in the aspect leading to a goal, but it still gives them time to set something up. It allows Classics to go and demo someone or just anything because, in all honesty, like Atelier is so oh, goosh. Well... That's probably a win for them. 46 seconds left now. And Atelier manages to get this one in. The defense from... Oh, he didn't even touch that. That was a ghost hit. What a guy. Uh, I think that Batmobile is just a little bit too low to the ground. Bounced right over the top. But look at the defense. Chrome was just leaving. He was gone. That was some rough situation for Genesis. It looks like Atelier likely at this point to put themselves up 2-1 to one and at match point then. In this best of the five, both these teams Fine for a win right now. Neither one taking a win in week number one for the NARLCS Season 3 League play. And uh, a win is, is going to be critical here. Well, we, we mentioned it at the very beginning. So far, Atelier has played only Energy and G2, both at Vice this week. They've gotten what we consider their, their toughest matchups for this season out of the way. But even with those matches, like, they were really close games. And they're showing that. Like, they look so strong right now. I mean, you're talking, it's like eight shots to three. The pressure is really showing for Atelier. And no pressure from Genesis. I mean, at the end there, look at that turtle. Of course, they're down three, but you can't start to show flaws or any kind of hesitation like that. Turtle had all the time in the world with three defenders in front of him. Someone should be going there and push him into making a move. Pressure him into doing something that could cause a mistake for your other two teammates to save and push the other way. It's not like you were the last defender. You had three people in net and none of them were pressuring on Turtle there. 
No, a lot of it has to do with that midfield play. Like, we talk about how Chrome is one of the most adaptable players of any squad. Uh, part of the reason is because he fills into roles very well. He can basically plug him into a team and he works out. Mm -hmm. uh, the issue is is Classics and Insol kind of both have similar play styles, where they both play a pretty aggressive play style. You see Classics is driving around taking everybody's boost. And it actually worked out at the beginning. Like, at the very first couple seconds of that match, no one on that defense had boost. But they still didn't do anything with it. And it was really weird to see, like, you guys have two aggressive players. Go demo someone and then go take a shot. And it just didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Ten shots to three. That is uh, just, it's starting to ramp up. And we said it in, in the break uh, during that last game is that it, it looked like it was starting to amp up. Right. Unfortunately, I thought it was also going to amp up for Genesis. I <laughs> thought it was going to be both teams pushing. But it just seems like Genesis is caught in this this hesitative spot on defense. And it, it's, it's really just allowing Atelier to do what they want on offense. I mean, Matt and Siz are just sitting up there with Turtle working that midfield line. And it's working. You need to break that up. You need to be able to get out of your own end. And well, it's, they just aren't. it's a great word that you said, hesitation. And it just seems to be that. It's like they're not confident in what's happening in their in their players. We saw what happened when there wasn't any hesitation. Insul came up, he read a 50-50 and, and punished him for it. Where's that genesis? What happened to it? Well, we might see it now. Insul off the back end in a demo. This might be the ramp up that they need. This is do or die. Atelier is up. Two to one in the series, one more win. We'll give them the win in this series. Getting them a point on the leaderboards in the league play. And as we said, absolutely critical to be able to get yourself into those regional finals once league play is over. 30 seconds in, slow pace right now, but we see that attack starting to come up from Atelier. Risky spot from Siz. Vinsel had won that 50-50. Would have been an open net, but it worked out for them anyways. Matt with a slow play. If they know it's going to work, why not keep at it until Genesis starts to put that speed up. The slow pace play seems to be working for Atelier. And they're still on attack here. Classics and Chrome both on the attack. Matt now trying to drop one in. That's going to be a shot for Turtle now. If he can drop that softly, he does. There's our first goal one minute in. Kudos going out to Turtle. His touches have been on point today, one after another. But Matt, that 50-50, air rolling upside down to make sure the nose is completely killing that ball's forward that forward momentum. It goes straight up, drops right back down for Turtle, and then Turtle with that shot, nice and soft, put it in the net. First goal in, Genesis has to do something to answer this. They haven't done much for the past couple games even. I'm hoping this will be a ramp up for them. Someone needs to get that speed. We've seen Chrome do a good amount of offense and defense, but you have three people on the team, you need to work together. That was the chance to break out. Insul waiting for those cherry pick passes. As we just talked about him, Chrome moving up the field. Classics ready for a pass. Need to get on that quicker. Classics bumped out of the way. What a good touch from Matt there to just stop that play. Insul's forced to move into that play. And there's Classics trying to start something. But he's going to be on the far side, then get a pass over to him. But no, Turtle will clear that one down the center field. As they slowly but surely move back down into Genesis end. And will this be another attack resulting in a goal? No, Chrome does manage to get the other way. Classic shot on net. Chrome trying to follow it up. A bump from him on number one. Not on number two, though. And Insul has to try to set a pass play instead of a shot. Two defenders do keep that one out. Still a much better job coming out from Genesis. The ability to control that the last, like, roughly minute, minute and a half has been all Genesis on that side. One shot after another, but coming in. Saved by Classics. Good turn on Classics, but he goes for boost instead of the ball. And ends up having to camp it, giving Turtle a lot of time to move back in on offense by himself. At least two defenders for this attack from Chrome. A flick up, quickly intersected by Siz. Matt ready for the pass, but he's a little bit too far forward. I think they're starting to go for that boost still rotation now. And that's just going to force Genesis deeper into their own end. Yeah, they need to get these big clears because every single touch so far just seems to be putting them even more in a worse spot. But oh, pass out. What beautiful. a beautiful decision from Siz to play as it inside. As soon as I saw the drift, I'm like, do it, man. Look at that turnaround. Able to force that one out. Oh, just like you said. To, to that attacker. That, that drift was so crucial in that moment. To get that angle, he has to you hold the power slide button so he can get a sharper angle around to that ball. And then to jump into it to get the pressure out to Turtle. Any slower in that might have been able to get saved, but man, what a decision. Uh, you don't see that too much anymore at this level of play. That classic one-two punch from the offense. To put one in like that, just that ground play. There it is, extending the lead by yet another goal, up by two. Genesis now stuck with a minute per goal if they want to tie this one up at least. 
bring this to an overtime. Atelier looking to take this series as they are at match point. I love what Siz did there. Only one player aggressing. What does he do? He traps the ball again. Turtle showing the slow and steady wins. Oh! The race, what a shot! Beautiful setup. Look at Turtle just waiting. Now they're feeling it. Look at these passes coming out from Atelier. One, two, and another punch to the face. I love their infield passing plays. When these guys are on point, every single one of them has that chemistry, and they all tie together. Like, we talked about that they're playing really fast, and you saw that counterattack ability right there for that goal. But I really like when they slow down, but are still playing fast. Like, it's weird. It's more controlled than it is like, okay, we're just going to go really quick. Well, like, here's here's a tough thing. Once you start feeling that and looking out for oh each other. Oh, my goodness. I mean, that's that's good. It means you're looking up for those passes, and that's where the tides can really start to turn. And that's what we're seeing right now. But you have to make sure you're not looking too hard for that upfield passing. Because right. if you're going for the cherry pick every time, that means you only have two defenders, potentially against three attackers. Right. It's it's what you, like, to point out this Atelier team, like, they play quick, by all means. They're not afraid to come and contest you. But when the moments when it's like, okay, oh, I'm surveying. I mean, where was that earlier, man? <laughs> like, yeah, right. But uh, four goals up. I think Atelier is taking the series at this point. This best of five. One minute left. And it, Genesis just wasn't able to pace up. No, just uh, too much for them at this point. And Turtle's just being a bully now. Trying to get back from Chrome for earlier. Well, we'll see if they can just keep those stats coming in. At this point, that's all they can do. Get a couple more goals to make him look impressive on that leaderboard. 40 seconds left. Genesis not going to be able to take that point. I mean, anything can happen, but not going to be able to take that point on the leaderboard as Atelier finding themselves their first win, winning them one to two on the in the league at this point. And uh, they're ramped up and ready to go. Yeah. For Genesis, though, they still have another game left after this one against Set to Destroy. And at this point, I mean, this is when you start to look forward to your next match. Like, obviously, these guys have some things they can work out, like pass plays and stuff like this. It just get the feel for it. But in reality, they're probably focused on their next match coming up. And that'll be it. Five seconds left. This game over. 4-0 to oh now. Atelier winning 3-1 to one against Genesis in our first game of week two of season three's league play. The desk just getting proven wrong across the board. Atelier looked real strong. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, weak at the beginning, but they started to ramp it up, that's for sure. Um, and, and only really at the end did they look like they had their full power starting to come out. Um, unfortunately for Genesis, they just weren't able to pull that power out themselves. Unfortunately for Genesis, they were on the receiving end of that. Well, exactly, and, and weren't able to counter. I mean, they could easily counter. It doesn't matter if you're on the receiving end or not. It's how do you reciprocate and turn that around. They weren't able to turn anything around. They got a couple counterattacks, then did nothing with it, and ended up back on defense yet again. Yeah, unfortunate for them, but like we said, still another match coming up. Mm -hmm. And there you go, Atelier taking their first win in Season 3's League Play. But for more on League Play, back to the desk. Thanks so much, Leaf. Um, the problem when you guys both pick the same team is now you're both wrong. Yeah, oh well. I, right. I, it's it what happens. I thought. It's what I thought. Which is what I like to see, because <laughs> I want to see games that surprise me. No, they were they were quite fantastic games. They're seeing Atelier bounce back, getting their first win here. And it started, I felt like the story of this match was Sizz. Starts off with the yeah. own goal, and you're like, oh, this is going to be a rough game here. But then he comes back in style in the next few games. It was just team pressure after team pressure. And then Sizz was that closer, a very similar role that Fireburner uh, used to have, where it's just all team pressure and Sizz coming in clutch, closing out those shots when it needed most. And again, like Genesis looking extremely flat on yeah. the defensive end, pretty much always having zero boost for were, most of yeah, the game. They were boost starved that uh, one, I think it was game three, boost starved leading to that first goal. But really, like you were saying, Genesis overextended a lot. There were two goals that we saw Sizz scored where there was absolutely nobody home. The goal, the goal was wide open. And extremely predictable from Genesis. Every time they had one offensive chance, they would do a weak pass off the corner mm. and then just go for demos. But it's like, you have to make a quality pass for that to work. They just kept going for these demos that never seemed to work. They only got 15 shots in four games. 
and 36 shots on the other side, you're yeah. not going to win many games being outshot that bad. Yeah, and it did feel like that was the, the key for Atelier. The, their accuracy was on point when they were shooting, but they were backing up with fantastic rotations and stealing the boost. And also, the, they, they brought the one-two punch pass plays so many times. You know, just, just, just pass it straight to the middle, have him immediately shoot at the goal. And when you're shooting that quickly, it's so hard to deal with. And plus, when you have zero boost and you're trying to defend, you can't make really good clears yeah. off those shots. So you're kind of forced to make really bad saves and then just shot after shot until Sizz finally comes in and closes it out for them. And you have no boost to get up and contest balls that are falling from yep. the ceiling like we saw classics coming off the wall. Absolutely no boost. Once you get that height, if the other team has the boost, they're going to get up. And as soon as that ball goes below the crossbar, they're knocking it in. At this level, there will never be a shot that players miss like that. So Atelier done for the week here. What is kind of their mentality looking forward at week three now that they have a win under the belt? So I think they're exactly where they want to be. They probably wanted to try and take one off G2 or energy, but mm -hmm. Realistically, it's like, ah, eh, those are two tough series. They beat Genesis here, which a lot of people thought might be some competition for that six seed. So that's a really big win here. Mm -hmm. They should be really happy going into yeah. the next few weeks. They beat them pretty convincingly, too. Yeah. Although I was, I was, I had my reservations about them um, from losing uh, in a reverse sweep fashion. A lot of times that can take a toll, but they're mentally tough. Um, I take back what I said about Matt and Sizz and Turtle <laughs> maybe having less skill overall than Genesis. I think uh, even mechanically, if they're a little bit less talented, their mental game was on point. They were they were passing and just putting in the shots they had to end. Absolutely. Well done to Atelier as they get their first win under their belt. Coming up next, under their belt? Under their belt. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. I, I should know about belts, right? Coming up next, Genesis is going to stay on the field, but their opponent's set to destroy. Both of these teams still looking for their first win in league play. Will it be Genesis? Will it be set to destroy? We'll find out after the break.